Hey guys, it's the Battle Productions, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. In the last episode, we faced the Win Straight family, and we faced Gabby and Ty, the interviewers, on Route 111, as well as we faced a couple other trainers. And before we get started with this episode, actually, I just want to talk about a couple things. Well, first things first, this episode, we're going to be going to Route 112. And pot we're going to probably go through the Fury Path, too. Most likely, because this route's really short here. But the other thing I want to talk about is that, as you can tell, my sidebars have been upgraded. So, recently I've been playing with o OBS, which is Open Broadcaster Software. And what I was trying to do is I want to put a team, like, you know, just show my team on the sidebar. But have it like a little animated thing, like, you know, those little GIFs at the bottom there. And it turns out o uh, OBS could do it. So, I added this, and now I'm using OBS as my recording software instead of Fraps. So it's going to take a little bit to getting, of getting used to. I mean, I have everything all set in case a Pokemon evolves and, evolves and stuff. And then also at the bottom here I have, at the bottom left corner I have my YouTube channel name. I have my Twitter and my Facebook. So if you are not followed to my Twitter or you didn't like my Facebook, be sure you do that. I'm going to be posting a lot. I already post a lot on Twitter, but I'm starting to post on Facebook. So anyways, our like goal is 10 today. That'd be awesome if we can hit that. And here we go. Let's get moving on here. Route 112. Ah! Michael! Look, right up there, that's Mount Chimney! Oh yeah, that's Mount Chimney, alright. It sure is big! No, more like huge! It totally takes my breath away! I'd like to take that cable car all the way up to the top someday. <laughs> hey Michael, don't your Pokemon seem a little bit ragged around the edges? Here, let me give them a little boost. What, really? I just went off screen to heal up my Pokemon. Really? Uh, whatever. But we got HMO4 strength. I guess that kind of makes up for it. It kind of makes me feel a little bit better, at least. So, yes, that is good. And we can't do strength until we have, laver we have the Laverage Gym Badge. So, alright, now strength. What we're going to do is we're going to be teaching strength to our Pokemon here. So, it's going to be all the way at the bottom. Okay, here we go. I think I'll teach it to Makite. Just because, yeah, it it would be it would be a good move for uh, Makite. So let's see. Um, oh shoot, what am I gonna get rid of? Uh, 60 power, 70 power it never misses, but it also attacks last, which I don't like that much. But Arm Thrust, I don't like the fact that I can risk only getting two. And technically, if I get five, then I get 75 damage. But most of the time, I don't. Most likely I get 2 or 3, which is like 45 power, so equivalently, it's not the best move in the world. I'm going to get rid of Arm Thrust. So yeah, you see my thought process there. But yeah, now we have Strength, which is really nice. And now let's head out into Route 112. So there are a couple new Pokemon here, so while we face this trainer here, we'll go over them. So, the new Pokemon that I remember correctly I believe there is Nummel which I caught in my Alpha Sapphire so I know that's there for sure and Machop's here for sure so Nummel let's just say it's it's a rock and ground type the ability mine had in Alpha Sapphire was simple which means like stuff like Intimidate wouldn't affect it or something I don't know I don't remember the uh, the effect of the ability but um, it's a rock and I mean it's a fire and ground type I mean it's a it's a really good typing it's just the problem is, is that it's quad weak to water, and the fact it's a little slow. There have been a few times in the game of Alpha Sapphire, at least, that I've come across water Pokemon. That was my last Pokemon, and it became pretty stressful. I mean, that was, I mean, that was in the, in the after game, which really isn't that big of a deal. But that is just a thought. There, it does have a Mega Evolution in this game, and in Omega Ruby, you get the Mega Stone in the main game from uh, Team Magma, while in uh, Alpha Sapphire, they have um, the Sharpedo's Mega Stone from Team Aqua in the main game in Alpha Sapphire. And then it's flipped. I mean, like, um, in the after game, you get the other Mega Stone. But, yeah, I mean, in Alpha Sapphire, I ended up getting the Mega Camerupt. And that was at the end of the game after, during the after game. So if you want uh, a Mega, uh, what do you call it, a Camerupt, if you have Omega Ruby, then you'll get it real soon, versus in Alpha Sapphire, you don't. So, anyways, let's just keep going here. So, it does have good special attack. It does have good physical attack. In fact, its special attack is slightly higher than its physical attack, but they're still really high. It's just that it's really slow, 
And I wouldn't say it's the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. So it's kind of a trade-off there. Oh crap, okay, Gulpin. Um, we're gonna have to switch. Let's go to Matang. Um, there we go, that'd be good. So now the next Pokemon is Machop. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Machop is, but if in case you don't, Machop is a fighting type with the ability Guts, and I don't remember the other ability. But it it has good attack, a good physical attack. It's a it's just mainly a physical attacker. I'd say it's a pretty it's a pretty bulky Pokemon once it's evolved into a Machamp. It's not really that bulky, but it is kind of... For an offensive Pokemon, I guess it's pretty bulky. It doesn't have much speed. Um, it's kind of a trade-off. It has a little bit of bulk. has physical attack. just doesn't have the speed. I mean, it's a great Pokemon. I've used it plenty of times in uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire in the originals. It's definitely a good Pokemon. I've used it in previous games, too. It's, it's a good Pokemon. I definitely recommend it. So, okay, those are the Pokemon here. Let's start getting some hikers. So, let's go. Let's do this. Um, let's see. Um, let's go for a Razor Leaf. That should be more than enough here. Unless it has Sturdy. Oh, no, it doesn't have Sturdy. All right. I like that. Okay, that's nice. Um, the next one. Uh, I think, if I remember correctly, the second one has Sturdy. So, what I'm going to do is... Well, first, let's, let's see if I'm right. Um, it doesn't matter, we're going to have to do two turns anyways to take this thing out. Let's see if I'm right. If I remember correctly. Yup, that's sturdy. Okay. The only reason why I know this stuff so much is because I just recently beat Alpha Sapphire. And yeah, I've been spending so much time. I mean, I still have to catch a few legendaries that I can get, but... So far, most of the game is complete in my Alpha Sapphire. And I'll be catching some of the legendaries that you can't catch in Omega Ruby. I'll be posting a video of those in the future. I mean, I already did one, which was the Latios, I think. Was it Latios? Yeah, it was Latios in the Southern Islands. So, yeah, I mean, you'll be, in this game, you get Latios, and then you go to Latios in the Southern Islands. Spoiler alert, but I mean, it's, you're going to know eventually. I'm not going to say when you get it, though. That's going to be a mystery. So, I guess it's technically not a spoiler. But yeah, you're pretty much guaranteed to get one of them, though. Alright, so here we go. So, Hiker Bryce, he has a Numble. Okay, so this is going to be our first po- uh, I think it's our first Numble we have seen so far. Is it? I'm pretty sure it is. So, let's go for the Leaf Blade. This should be more than enough to take it down. And, alright, there we go. As you can tell, it has no bulk. The ground type does make it so grass type moves are neutral versus resistant, which can be a problem with Miracle Eye. Let's see. Megatron is trying to learn that. I'm, okay, it enables dark type target to be hit by psychic attacks. It also enables an evasive target to be hit. Ooh, that sounds good. But yet again, I don't have a spot where I need to get rid of something because Bullet Punch is very nice because the priority Iron Head's a good move, Zen Headbutt's a good move, and Hold Back. I'm pretty sure this is going to be my ending move set. Unless I think of otherwise. But yeah, Miracle Eye does not make that move set. So we're, we'll give up on Miracle Eye. So let's see. Uh, Machop. Would you like to switch in your Pokemon? Sure. Um, let's go straight to Metang here. Megatron. So let's go Metang. Alright, so here we go. Machop level 18. So yeah, we get to see the Pokemon that I just talked about with... Probably within this five minutes ago, which is really nice. And I was going to go for Zen Headbuck, but I didn't want to risk the miss. And I was pretty much sure that I was going to take it down in one hit with Me uh, with Megatron. With any move it had, except for Holdback, of course. So that's why I went for Iron Head. So that is it for Route 112 for now. Of course, uh, May talks about the cable car, but yet again, Team Magma is blocking it out. So we're going to have to go around. And we're going to have to trigger some event in order to move on. So let's see. Let's find some uh, potion. Not potions. Uh, repels. We have 20. So that's definitely more than enough to get through to the next town. Where, which is where we need to go next. So anyways. Yeah. This is a boulder here that you can use strength to push. I just want to point that out quickly. 
And I believe there's some new Pokemon here. I, there's Coughing, which is a bulky beast. It's a poison type. Has a lot of defense. Learns great moves like Explosion. It's definitely one of those suicidal Pokemon. It's a very good Pokemon to use. I definitely recommend it. And there's Slugmon here, which turns into Macargo, which is a rock and fire type. It has good it has a good typing. It's just not a good Pokemon. Don't recommend it. It's 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 slow. It has good special attack. Okay attack. It's it, it's just not good. Definitely do, do not recommend it. And I'm sure there's is there something else in there. I don't remember exactly. But yeah, if there's anything else in there, I'm sorry if I missed it. But I'm just going just from my head. I, what I remember from Alpha Sapphire. So. Alright, so here is Street Thug Jalen, and he has a Mighty Enna. Alright. I think we can take him. Let's go, Pinocchio. So, let's see. Let's go for the Leaf Blade. That should be more than enough, because it didn't go for the Intimidate there. So, it's possible this could be a Moxie Mighty Enna. Most likely. So, that looks like it doesn't matter. It's down. And Robust Frog gets to level 30. That's really nice. Makit grew level 31. And we defeat Jalen. That was the work of a pro. Yep, it was. Yeah, I'm a pro. That's just how it is. Professional Poketuber. I don't say I'm professional, but I'm still a Poketuber. <laughs> Alright, so let's pick up some berries. Got a person berry. I believe these cure confusion, if I remember correctly. And let's see, what are these raspberries? I believe these are just uh, Poke Contest berries, which reminds me, I do have to come and do the Pokemon Contest. I don't know if I'll do that in the after game, or I'll just, or I'll do that at some point wherever I feel like it. I'm pretty sure I'll be in the after game. Welcome back to Route 111. Okay, so I'm, in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, you're able to go down here and go up a ramp in order to get a certain item, but they changed it in this game, so you can't go there. So... Yeah, you need a mock bike in order to get up there, which is why I switched to an acro bike. So you, I know that we'll need it sometime soon. So anyways, let me show me how much you've toughened, toughened up your Pokemon. Okay, sure, let's go. So here's Ace Trainer Wilton, and he has an Electric. So let's go, Pinocchio. You got this, buddy. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's go for Leafway. That should be more than enough. I mean, I could get Static here, unless this thing has Lightning Rod. But it doesn't look like it, it has Static. So we're good there. Pinocchio's level 30. In case you guys, what, if you're wondering, uh, when does Nuzleaf evolve? It actually evolves through a uh, Evolution Stone, which we'll get, I don't know, probably 15 episodes from now. I don't know. Depends on how fast a pace I, I go from now. From when I get to that point. Because, I mean, it's a couple badges away. That's for sure. I'm trying to pick up the speed just a little bit in order to, I don't know, get through the game a little bit quicker. Because I know I don't want to drag around for too long. I know I'm trying to be more detailed, which I am. But I'm still trying to do more at once. So that is why I'm trying to pick up the speed a little bit. So, Makuhita, you're going down to the ground. And boom, bada bing, bada boom, we got ourselves, oh, he only has, he has one more Pokemon, dang it, okay, um, let's see, let's use Makit, we haven't used him yet this episode. We're 13 minutes in, we haven't used Makit yet, that is rather unfortunate. So we'll use him now, so Bagon, holy cow, Bagon is a great Pokemon, although it's not really the best at its early forms, it's a lot better towards the end of its lifespan when it's just Salamence. Salamence, I mean, holy cow, that thing was banned from Ubers in 4th gen, I remember it, just because of its Dragon Dance, Earthquake, and I think it was Dragon Claw too, holy cow, it was just overpowering, there was no counter to that thing, and that's why it became Ubers, and of course in 5th gen it dropped down to OU, just because they end up coming out with more counters for it, and that was very important, so now, here is this guy. Mm-hmm. I can smell. I can smell it right there. The scent of adventure. This is definitely one. It's got to be a secret spot. There'll be enough space here to build a crazy super place. Or my name's not Arun. Is it Arun or Aaron? Arun? I'll say Arun. I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Oh, young trainer. What can I do for you? Hmm? Huh? What do you mean? You didn't ask for anything? Bet your heart did. Now, now. No need to be shy. After all, we arranged to meet. My name is Arun. Put her there. You know I'm a born and 25 years old. I spent the last 11 years trying to find myself. 
just a vagabond in search of dreams. I am wandering around Holland trying to find a place where I really belong. Oh. Okay, that's kind of bumping my uh, audio cord here. That's right, a super secret base. You don't know about secret bases? What kind of life is that? Too sad, little bro. Time for a little lecture from Uncle Aaron. Aaron. So yeah, let's see what a secret base is. Which is adventure, romance, awesome. For real, it's a place, it's the best place to chill. Your pals, you can hang out. Since you have this chance, you ought to learn how to make one. Take this. And we get TM94 secret power. Okay, secret power can help you find the entrances to secret places. These entrances, they're full of adventure, all right. That's why I like to throw some spice in there and call them secret spots. So now he's actually going to demonstrate a secret spot here. So we don't have to teach secret power to one of our Pokemon just to get one. So, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. They did revamp the secret bases. This isn't the best place to have a secret base, but it is still a good place to demonstrate it. So you got to check it out. You know, buy, you have to buy some decorations and other stuff from the shops. And you can basically just customize it. And then whenever you street pass someone, and I believe some of your friends in your friends list, I'm not 100% sure about that, but street pass for sure, they'll be able to swap bases so that you can face those trainers in the Pokemon they had at that time, which is quite interesting. But let's see, what do you say when you're happy? Yay, it sounds like a good default name, uh, like a word there, so that'll be good. Whistle, yay, that's good. You know why I asked you that? Isn't it obvious? Because you can see that there's plenty of future to feel happy about. That's how we roll in the secret base life. Every day is full of happy adventures. Oh, yeah. Now I can go ahead and make a secret base right here, but I get the feeling that this layout could be better for you, little bro. I guess I'm going to leave this spot for you. Thanks a lot, buddy. This will be your secret base from now on, little pal. It's all yours, so decorate, destroy it, do whatever you want, whatever floats your boat, right? Oh, right, decorating. See the decorations in the PC? Your secret base automatically place them around and living up your base a bit. So that's just a little tutorial here. And that's the PC is where you can find your decorations. Not much, right? So I'll give you these to get started. And we get decorations that we can do. You can make them. You, know, you can visit other people's bases. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking. I'm done. Okay, thank you. Good. You hit the road. And to secret base for this... Or at least his guild is at Fortree, which is quite a ways away. But we'll get there. Don't worry. So, this is Route 111. This is still Route 111, at least. So let's face this trainer here, and I think we'll end off the episode. Because the next route is west from here, and might as well start might as well not start a route right at the end of the episode. That just that just doesn't make any sense. So, anyways, here's a spoink. Let's go, Pinocchio. I believe Spoink is part fairy now, hence why that trainer had, is a, you know, it's a fairy trainer and has a Spoink. So I will switch out to Megatron here, and we'll go from there. So confused, right? Okay, that that's just terrible. That sucks. That sucks. I'm serious. That, ugh. Okay, um, let's go for a bullet punch. Come on, don't hit yourself. Come on. Ah, I hit myself. Okay. What's this thing going to even do to me anyways? Order Sleuth, really? Okay, you're definitely going to be doing a lot to me. Uh-huh. Bullet punch to the face. Let's go. Don't hit yourself. Okay, good. Super effective attack. That should be more than enough. Oh, I guess it might not be part fairy? Because I know for sure that steel is good against fairy. I guess it's not fairy? I thought it would be. Oh, well. And dang it! I hit myself. Psych up. Ooh. So now it copied the stat changes, which we didn't have any. So, that is okay. We'll just... Ah! Okay, come on. Psybeam. Okay, that's quad resistant. So that shouldn't do much. Now, that'd be nice if I could actually... That was a crit. That was only three damage. <laughs> come on, snap out confusion. Thank you very much. Have a good day. All right. Who's next? No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. All right, Mawile. Um, let's see. What am I going to do? Uh, let's go to Robust Frog because I do have the ground type move. And that should be more than enough to finish it off. So, yes, Mawile. Okay, so it's Intimidate. That's not cool. But at least Mud Bomb is a special attack. 
So we'll just do that, and that should be enough to finish off Mawile, because it does not have special defense. There we go, that is it. We've defeated the Fairy Trainer. So we defeat CC. You're a strong trainer. And we got $300, which I don't think was worth it, but oh well. Now, before we get going here, let's actually talk to some people here. I water plants every day, they grow flowers, they get me some berries, and we got a raspberry. Okay, so we're going to work harder and grow more flowers. I guess technically, we could have had the mock bike and got that item over here. Well, that's too bad. I guess we'll do that another time. I forgot about that. That's all. Well. That's fine. I mean, let's... Okay. Anyways, if we go in here, this lady will heal up your Pokemon, and she's kind of weird. So, you could... We can rest here. And... After that... She's like, oh, you're still tired. Now, uh, we can take another rest here. Really? No, that's... Are you sure? Are you sure that's wise? No need to be shy about it. Yeah, she's trying to make us feel guilty. It's probably because she lives on her own. She needs someone to take care of. And that is kind of sad. But yet again, a little creepy. But really more sad. So first, let's pick up these berries. And, and then we'll end off the episode. So there's a nanab berry. Nanab, 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 yep, nanab, okay. <laughs> no, we do not want to plant a nanab berry. That, that's just too much for me. And let's see, more Ross berries. That's good. And all right, guys. That is going to be the end of this episode. So that would be awesome if you could hit that like button so we can get to around 10 likes. And we should, uh, comment if uh, what you think in the comments below of this video. And yeah, subscribe to your inbox. And see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Omega Ruby.